Welcome back to the SOLIDWORKS tutorial for the beginners. In this video, we'll talk about how to create those specific shape of cut on a specific path using the swap cut option right here. To get started, let's create a new part to work on. Press Ctrl key and the N key on your keyboard to summon this window, select part and click OK. Next, show all the three planes right here and show them. Now, draw on the top plane create a new sketch on it. Next, create a rectangle. Give it a dimension of 150 by 125. After that, exit the sketch and go to features, extrude this rectangle and give it a little bit of depth. Click OK. Next, select the top surface of this solid block and click normal tool after that create a new sketch on the surface of the solid block that you created just now this time use the spline option right here to draw a specific path from one end to the other end of the block after you're done, press exit to finish drawing the path. Next, exit the sketch. Once again, click on the surface of this solid block. Click sketch to enter the sketch again. This time, use a line options right here and create another path. From one end to the other end. After that, press exit to finish drawing the line. Press exit the sketch button right here. After that, move on to this side of the solid block and create another new sketch right here. Make sure you have selected the surface right here before you click the sketch button right here. Now create a polygon with three sides right here. And make sure that you have come to this in contact with this point right here before you draw the triangle shape right here. Just make it a little bit bigger will do. After that, you have done here, press exit sketch to finish drawing the triangle right here. Next, with the triangle selected, go to feature tab and select swap cut. In the blue box, select the sketch for where it contains the triangle in the pink color box where you can select the path of where it to cut. After that, click OK. And there you go, we have a specific cut on a specific path on a solid block. Next, use the swap cut again and this time select circular pattern and on the in the pink color box, select this path right here. Give it a little bit diameter of the circular profile let's say 20 after that click OK to finish editing the path the swap cut and this is how you can use the swap cut to create a specific cut pattern on a specific path of that is all today for the video and thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next video